Good morning, guys. This is going to be part three of the Lanai deck build. Uh, basically, just picking up right where we left off. Um, the last video, you know, ran a little long, so I ended up cutting it off. Um, a couple days have gone by. It's a beautiful day today. It's a little bit of clouds, but it's nice and sunny. Um, Jerry's out running around, and the ladies. And the dogs. <laughs> Everyone's hanging out. So, this is going to be episode three of the deck build. Thanks for watching. Thanks for tuning in. Please subscribe. Let's get to work. Okay, so where we left off, I was in the process of uh, getting this one mounted to here. This 2x10 mounted to the 6x6. Six six. Um, this ended up being a little off the placement of this pier, which I did all the measurements. Um, you know, I did my cross measurements, the Pythagorean theorem and all that. Uh, and I thought everything was squared up, but this was actually off quite a bit. Um, it was probably three inches out uh, this way. So I ended up having to move that back. Um, so this one I'm gonna put on hold right now and I'm going to start fo focusing on this next set here. Uh, this pier is placed, should be correct. Um, so I'm going to start working on building up this section. So basically duplicating that beam set up with the two posts. Um, I have my other three posts up here of the ones that will be exposed, the ones that were painted. That's basically one here, one here, and one here. Um, the two that will be underneath are not going to be painted and those ones are obviously going to be cut down to the level of the 2x10s because they're going to be under the deck. And as you may have noticed, I ended up moving the stairs from that side over to this side. The dogs are sitting so nice, you know, and calm. <laughs> so basically that's what's going to happen. Uh, I'm going to start working on this section here. I want to get it up and then that way... I can start to connect this beam and get this corner lined up just right. This corner here was off by about an inch, but since everything is placed already, um, I can't really adjust this one. So I'm going to have to use this as my new square, I guess, and then align that corner to this corner and then everything should be fairly close. Yeah. <laughs>
All right, so I got the next two by 10 placed. Um, everything is measured squared up. So these two by 10s are perfectly parallel. I think it's within an eighth of an inch between this end and this end. Um, that's close enough for me. So this one is nailed. Of course, I haven't put the, um, the lag bolts in there yet because I gotta get the other side. So now I need to place this pier in its location. And I basically marked a line right here. So that is going to be in line with that one. Same exact distance from the wall here. Um, this one's not super critical because it's going to be under the deck. So I'm going to get it as close as I can. Um, and then I will go take one of the unpainted 6 by 6s I'll measure this once I get the pier in place, cut it, and then we can put that in. All right, I got this pier in place. If I line it up on my line here. So it's pretty much um, squared up. That's uh, pretty close right there, the level bubble, if you can see it. And then if I put it along here, and I look at the edge down there, it's pretty much squared up. So for this post, since it's going to be hidden, that's totally close enough. So I'm going to get this measured, go get the piece cut, and then I'll be back to install it. All right, I got this one cut. <clears throat> um, I did cut it a couple of inches longer because once I place the other two by 10 here and everything's secure, I'm actually gonna just flush cut this with my chainsaw just to make sure it's exactly the same height as the two by 10s. So now I'm ready to put this other two by 10 on, secure this post, and then secure everything on this section. And that'll be two down. All right, so this section is completely done. Uh, I got my carriage bolts, I guess, the, the new style fastening uh, bolts there. Two and two. So this one, this section is now completely done. It's parallel to that one, so everything's good. Uh, I'm gonna continue putting this post up. Um, this one, I'm only gonna be able to do one side of the two by 10 because the pier is gonna actually need to go almost right where that pier is, um, pretty close. So I gotta figure out, I guess, what I'm gonna do about that because I don't know, maybe if I cut this corner out, I can actually use the six by six temporarily. But anyway, we'll see. I think the two by 10 would be in the way. Um, so I may end up having to take these stairs off again, moving them over slightly, and then reattaching them. Something like that. I don't know. It's in the way. And then over here, I'm going to have to cut a section out of the concrete right here so that that block can go there. Um, I didn't really think about it, but I guess I could have just maybe put the anchor plate right into the slab. I don't know, maybe that's something I'll still consider. Because these plates are just bolted on, so I could pull that off and just put it right there. That would actually make this way easier for me. Um, I just gotta make sure that the height is enough. So looking at these, they look like they're very long. Of course, they're gonna get cut off. Um, when the horizontal pieces go in, they are basically going to tie in to this section. If you look where the rafter is coming out there, so there's that two by six section. Um, that basically is the top of the wall behind there. So that's kind of like blocking. And what's gonna end up happening is where the my six by six posts come in, 
I'm going to cut out a six by six hole there and then it's going to slide in. Um, the roof, once the roof eventually goes on, is going to be pretty much completely supported by these six by sixes. So the fastening into the house is basically just lateral fixturing, I guess, so that it's, you know, not moving, um, you know, this way um, to lock it down in that uh, axis direction, I guess. Um, so there's not really going to be a lot of load on this wall, you know, where that comes in. It's only four foot spacing between here. And then eventually it's only going to go in there because, you know, down the road a year from now or whenever it is, we're going to actually put a second story on this house. So this will end up being a wall, not this overhang, which is why we won't be able to complete the roof on this for you know quite a while we could start it but um we definitely couldn't finish this side of it so we'll see how that's gonna go Whew. okay so i had to uh remove the porch uh, i think that's gonna be the last time i'm not gonna put it back on um because where the this pier needs to go is right where the pier um it was only maybe five inches over from where the pier of the actual porch was. So I had to get that out of there, had to pull the pier out. Um, I'm close enough now that I'm, I'm just about done with these to where I could start putting the joist in. And so I'm gonna just run to Home Depot and I'm gonna get a sheet of plywood to put in here. And then I will just reattach the stairs over there to that two by 10. So that's where I'm at. I'm gonna continue, get this in place, make a run to Home Depot. All right, well, this is where I'm at right now. So I got this front 24 foot two by 10 on. Uh, all of these two by 10s that are going to the house are all secured. That beam is in, everything is secured. I have not put the the lag bolts in or the, you know, the fasteners like what's over on these ones. So I still need to do those there. Um, I have not put this last 2x10 here because I'm going to have to cut the concrete here so the pier will fit. I got the stairs on and I'm getting ready to run to Home Depot so that I could get the um, a sheet of plywood. And basically it's going to go from here to that beam over there, you know, just a 4x8 standard sheet of plywood um, so that we have a temporary porch while we are waiting for the treks to come in. So yeah, um, next step after I get back is gonna be putting in all of the floor joists in all three of these sections. Sometimes the chickens like to play dead. <laughs> it freaks me out when I come around the corner and I see them like this sometimes. They're just sitting in the sun. <laughs> kind of funny though. You getting some sun, Mama? <laughs> Funny. Sorry, didn't mean to disturb you. Oh man, this was such a time suck. I think I've spent probably two, maybe even three hours, probably two and a half hours. So I couldn't find my masonry saw blade that goes into my skill saw. So I ended up having to use the hammer drill and I drilled holes all the way around the perimeter. And then I used the, the little chisel jackhammer bit to break it all up. Man, <laughs> I'm beat. Anyway, this is in place. This post is ready to go up and then I can finish the two by 10 here. And that'll be it for all the 2x10s and all the vertical posts. Just me and the Koki frogs. Okay. So it's getting late, um, obviously. <laughs> um, so basically what I'm doing is I'm just trying to get these joists in um, enough that I can put my 4x8 sheet of OSB on here. And then uh, that is definitely going to be it for the night. Uh, I think I'm going to need probably two more joists. 
All right, it is the next morning. As you can see, I got my piece of uh, OSB in place over there. Dog's already in position. So I will continue uh, putting all the joists in. <coughs> oh, excuse me. <laughs> um, and then that'll pretty much wrap up this video. That was everything that I wanted to get done in this video, getting all the uh, cross joicing in. So let's get to it. So just getting set up here. One of the things that I didn't really think about um, that I need to do before I start putting these joists up is putting in all these little cross support pieces in between the two by tens. So that'll basically give me a continuation of the floor joist across in case there's, you know, a section of the treks that has to be bolted down here or fastened down. Um, so I cut, uh, started cutting a bunch of these. I'm going to go around and just start installing them everywhere. And then uh, once that's done, I can start putting the joists up. All right, so this whole section is done now. Um, that palm nailer is pretty awesome. So all the hangers are fully put in, screws and nails. And like I said, this section is done. Now I'm gonna move over to this section over here and get it finished up. So I was thinking, man, that section seemed like it took a lot longer than the other one. And then I realized that I had already had the deck part done. <laughs> so this part is all done. Uh, yeah, I can't say enough about that palm nail. That thing's awesome. And that's like a $65 tool. I mean, that's not really too expensive. I mean, for the time it saves you and like your arm and the hammering and like, it's a no brainer. I don't know why I never had one of those before. Um, so I'm pretty close to being wrapped up here. Um, I'm going to have four more pieces going in here. So somehow I miscalculated this. So I was thinking that I was having seven cross pieces for each section. I got that stuck in my mind, but it was actually nine. So I'm going to end up being five short from what I had. So I'm going to finish up these last four and then that's going to wrap up this video. Um, and then I'll just get, you know, another five boards next time I'm going to Home Depot or in town. So yeah, best laid plans, right? <laughs> Always something. Whew. All right, guys. Well, that's going to wrap up this video. So you can see, I got the uh, last four joists in there. So just about done with all the joists. Um, once I get those remaining five joists in, then um, this deck is pretty much just ready and waiting for the treks. Um, I will have to get some of the um, tape, the decking tape that you put on top of the joists, um, you know, before the treks comes in. Uh, and then of course, everything has to be all, you know, covered. Even though this is eventually gonna have a roof on it, I wanna make sure that there's no moisture issues. Um, if anything goes down, you know, and gets onto the, uh, all the framework. <laughs> um, there's gonna be some, a little bit of detail work, you know, around the edges. I wanna add a, a two by four on the outside. I wanna paint all these outside edges. Um, gonna start working on all the posts as far as figuring out the level, getting them cut and getting the horizontal beams put in. Um, maybe I'll start doing the lattice, uh, around the bottom. Um, yeah, I don't know. We'll see. Um, but this was a solid two days 
So Saturday and Sunday working on this to get uh, this far. But it was good progress. High school cameo. <laughs> It was good progress, um, got a lot done, and uh, looking forward to the next video. So as always, thank you guys for watching. Uh, please subscribe, and I will see you on the next video. Aloha.